Surgeries were put on hold across the country during the pandemic, creating a big backlog. It takes a long time to catch up. A new report shows the sharpest drops in procedures were in Manitoba and Newfoundland. We're seeing different approaches being taken across the country. This family physician says there was also a bigger impact on people living in lower income neighborhoods. If you're from a low income working class community, you're you know, even farther behind in terms of accessing surgery than um, other people in Canada. And unfortunately, this is not, this is not a new pattern. Even though surgeries were put on hold, the Canadian Institute for Health Information says healthcare teams still worked 18 million hours of overtime between 2020 and 2021. Some workers quit their jobs, while others grappled with burnout, like Toronto trauma nurse Aram Jagala. It felt like an ongoing marathon that just wouldn't finish. The report also highlighted other pressing issues. Many Canadians struggle to access mental health services, while millions don't have access to any primary care provider. Noticeably absent was any data from Quebec. We need better outcomes. The report follows a deal between the federal government and the provinces to improve the collection and sharing of health care data. But Quebec hasn't signed on. The province with a population of more than 8 million told CBC News they've been reporting their own data publicly since 2022. It's pretty astounding that it's 2023 and we're starting to actually try to compile all of this data. This health this policy expert says even with its gaps, the report is an important first step, but... If it doesn't come with the targeted investments, then all we're going to be doing is having a better sense of these divides. In other words, the data won't help if governments don't find a fix. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Toronto.